Hello my dear students, welcome back. Now after vacation, we are back again and we have to start with our studies again. Uh, dear students, in the month of April, we have studied about lesson number 1 that is globes and maps. Now today we will start with the lesson number 2, locating places. Now in the first lesson, we, you have studied about the globe. What is globe? Globe is the true model of the earth which shows the actual shape of the earth. Now you can see, now in this lesson we are going to study more detail about the globe. Now children, you can see one thing that the globe, on the globe there are so many things which are marked. Countries, mountain, rivers, yes or no, so many things are there. But do you think it is easy to locate the places on the globe? No, because there are so many things and it is not easy. Because in the earlier chapter you have studied about the advantages and the disadvantages of the globe. Now we are going to study how to locate the places on the globe. Now first of all we will start. Now can you see that the globe is rotating? Now it is rotating itself. The globe is rotating on an axis. It is the metal rod. Actually our earth is also rotating. And the imaginary line, the imaginary line on which our earth rotates is called an axis. So what is axis? An axis is an imaginary line. On which earth rotates. Okay, children. So, axis is an imaginary line on which earth rotates. Here we can say axis, we can define this metal rod as the imaginary line. Now, what other things you can see on the globe? Huh? What other things? Now, in the earlier chapter, you have studied the first important thing which you have studied is the directions. Yes or no children? We have to see the directions. Now see here with the help of the blackboard I will teach you. Now this is for example this is our globe. Now this is north, south, east and west. So what is this north, south, east, west? These are the four main directions. We have studied about the map also. What is map? Map is the flat representation of the earth. In that also we have studied about the four directions. North, South, East and West. So the directions are very important component when we study about the globe and map. So this is about the directions. Now you can see an imaginary line. See here children. Can you see this line? Now what is this line? Now this line divides the earth into two parts. Okay. So let us see what is this. The line is the imaginary line which runs exactly between the earth is called equator. Okay. And it is marked as 0 degree. Now the part of the earth, the part of the earth which lies towards the north, that is the part of the earth which lies, the top of the equator is called the north pole. So this is the north pole and down to the equator it is the, these two, these two end points, these two end points of the globe are defined as the north pole and the south pole. Okay. Now, now this line, the line which divides the earth into two halves is called the equator. Now our earth is divided into two parts. Okay. So the part of the earth which lies towards the north is called the, I will write here, this part is called the northern hemisphere. And the part of the earth which lies towards the south is called the southern hemisphere. Okay. So equator divides the earth. Okay. Is it clear? 
that the equator divides the earth into two halves northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere now one more thing we will see you can see on the globe what more things you can see the imaginary lines can you see this imaginary lines vertically and horizontally okay horizontally so what are these lines you can see the imaginary lines drawn like this on the globe now what are these imaginary lines called yes what are these imaginary lines called these imaginary lines are which run parallel to the equator are called parallels of latitude they are called the parallels of latitudes okay so the term which we are going to study today about the globe is latitudes so today we will emphasize only on the latitudes so the imaginary lines which are drawn parallel to the equator are called latitudes okay now what more things children you can see yes what can you see that the lines are drawn at the equal distance so here i am drawing on the blackboard so it may not be equal but the lines are exactly the lines are exactly at the equal distance so the latitudes let us study about the latitudes so these lines imaginary lines are drawn at the distance of 1 degree interval so they are drawn at the distance of 1 degree interval now the equator is marked as the 0 degree now let us mark the other latitudes so 10 
that these are the characteristics of the planet tubes. Our earth is divided into five, we have five important latitudes on our globe. Now see equator, equator is the longest latitude which is marked with the zero degree. Now let me mark first north pole and this is south pole. These two poles we have to mark first. Then this is arctic circle, arctic circle which is marked as 20. Sorry, 66 and a half degree north. Then, Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree north. Again, here we have Antarctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, 66 and a half degree south. We will mark here south because it is at the this one and this is tropic of Capricorn which is marked 23 and a half degree south. So equator, Arctic circle, Antarctic circle, tropic of Cancer and tropic of Capricorn are the five important latitudes which you have to always keep in, five, keep in mind that these are the five important latitudes on the globe. So for today children only the concept of the latitude is enough. Now again in the next period we will continue with the longitude.